he funneled the cash to the Clinton campaign. If that's true, it's a problem. Cleta Mitchell is an attorney. She's an expert on campaign finance law, and she joins us tonight. Um, so, Cleta, tell us, if this is true, is it a crime? Yes, it's true, and yes, it is a crime. I mean, essentially what they did was they took a perfectly legal apparatus, which is a joint fundraising committee, in this case called the Hillary uh, Victory Committee, and participating in that were the DNC, the Hillary Clinton campaign, and 38 state parties. And, right. But what they did that was wrong is that they used the higher limits of the DNC and all these state party committees uh, to be able to funnel money back through the DNC, which was controlled by the Hillary Clinton campaign. You know, you and I talked about this uh, last fall, uh, November, December, something like that. And what has happened since then is that the Committee defend, to Defend the President, which is a hybrid PAC, um, their lawyer, Dan Backer, went to the records of the FEC and looked at all the reports the DNC had filed, looked at all the reports that the Hillary Clinton campaign had filed and this Hillary Victory Committee had filed, and all of these state parties. And what they have discovered by going through all these documents that are all public records, mind you, nothing yeah. that the New York Times or the Washington Post couldn't get. Um, and they have re and have documented in a, a complaint to the FEC with pages and pages of spreadsheets showing the transactions. And let me just give you a couple of examples. What they would do was they would get, say a donor would write a check for $400,000, which was to go be split and allocated among the state parties, the Clinton campaign at $5,400, that was the max that she could get, and the, and the money to the DNC. But what would happen the, the, the donation may have been legal, but what they did with the money is what was illegal, which is that they pretended to send it to the state Democratic parties, and they didn't. In some cases, there were never any transfers made to the state parties, and, they, and, and the state party reports show that they never got the money. Instead, that money all went to Brooklyn. Remember, we talked about this earlier. The DNC bank account was moved from Washington, where it had been for decades, and moved to the same bank in New York that the Hillary Clinton campaign uh, had, where it had its bank accounts. And remember also, so all this money that's supposed to go out to the state parties never went to the state parties. It went to the DNC account in New York, which Hillary Clinton's campaign controlled. Yeah. That is the part that gets to be illegal. And remember this, this is a wrinkle I don't know that we would have paid that much attention to last fall, but the person who negotiated this agreement between the DNC and the Hillary Clinton campaign was Mark Elias, the lawyer for the Hillary Clinton campaign, who negotiated with Mark Elias, who was the, who was the lawyer for the Democratic National Committee. I mean, th this is... Pretty brazen. Um, it, it's, a, it's a really brazen scheme, and it's all in the public record. And what the irony, has happened of course, is, that, is they lost anyway. <laughs> they spent they twice as much anyway. as the Trump they, campaign. Oh, but, de, oh, but, but of course they've sued Russia. The DNC has sued Russia <laughs> because that, it was their fault. Oh, it was it's their fault. irony that makes life bearable. Thank you, Cleena Mitchell. Thank you for that explanation. Really interesting and kind of appalling. Thank you, really. Tucker. Left is using violent, let's just call it what is, violent tactics to target supporters of gun rights. A